Mom, can you help me sew these buttons back on? Because these buttons seem really loose and I don't want to lose it on my favorite Michael Kors jacket. As you can see, you see how loose these buttons are? With time, it's going to eventually drop and I don't want to lose it. So today we're going to show you how to sew buttons back onto a coat or jacket. Okay, first we need needles and matching thread, preferably. What you want to do is thread it through the eye of the needle. Okay. And you want a good length because sewing on a button requires probably about, I would say, about a good um, six inch or seven inch. It looks like my mom decided to go with a, with a long length. That way we don't have to refread the needle so many times. So it looks like she has it about a, a good two feet right there. <laughs> two feet, okay? Okay, so once you have two feet, what you wanna do is bring it in a circle, tie it in a loop, close out a knot, a simple knot right there, see? Okay. Or if you want to play it safe, you can tie a double knot one after the other so it doesn't loosen. Okay, so my mom told me that instead of, you know, removing it, there's no purpose of removing it. It's a laser, the original thread. So we just simply want to go underneath. See, we're going underneath and then come up into one of these holes, okay? All right. And then bring it up through, and then we're going to cross it down. It doesn't have to be very fancy. You can have it, if you want to look in a particular way, you know, like weavy pattern or something like that, it's not very important. Just tighten it enough where you feel that is will hold it steady. See that? Be careful of your finger, of course. Bring it up and bring it back down. My mom told me that she likes to crisscross like into an X shape for, for added stability. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I feel like it's sturdy right here, see? Very sturdy, it's not loose. Here's what the top looks like. See, kind of like a X shape. And here's what the bottom looks like. Okay, the bottom doesn't have to be very pretty. Okay, so now we can close up the loop and remain steady. What you want to go is find something, you know, that's underneath all those threads. Bring it, wrap it around one, two, three times, and then pull the string so it close out the loop. It automatically creates a knot right there. And now, you can do it again for extra protection. Wrap it to the ground, see? One, two, three, bring it up. Sometimes it can get caught in a knot in the knot. Um, that's the worst case scenario, but that looks good right there. Okay, now we can cut it. You can cut it tight. All right. And now we just have to repeat it for the other buttons. It's very simple, guys. Okay, you guys remember how we created so many uh, knots at the very beginning? So once we cut that thread, because we created extra long, you create a knot again each time. Now we can sew on the, tighten on the second button. Okay, my mom's completely done. Just want to ensure that um, it fits. See, even though it's tight, it still works. Thanks so much, mom. See, no more worries about losing your buttons. That looks beautiful.